These are dead electric vehicle batteries, but a Canadian startup is giving them new life. At its Kingston, Ontario plant, LiCycle recycles the lithium-ion batteries that power most EVs, as well as phones and laptops. And work here is shifting into high gear. The more electric vehicles, the more consumer batteries, etc., we see in the economy, the greater the, uh, the, the potential is, and we want to be able to expand. It's a new but quickly growing industry. The company literally shreds the batteries, sifting out the metals and plastics for recycling. So, um, the main byproduct, though, is known as black mass. This is the valuable stuff. Yep, this is the valuable stuff. This is the most expensive part of your batteries. The black mass is a mixture of lithium, cobalt and nickel. Right now, Lycycle sends it out for processing, but by next year plans to take that on itself. It says it can recover 95% of those critical minerals needed to make new EV batteries. Demand for critical minerals has soared. One report suggests recycling old EV batteries could reduce the need for new mines by 20% by 2040. Critical minerals are mined in just a few countries. Amid tight supply, prices have spiked. Lycycle's CEO says it's all the more reason for recycling. There's no limit on the number of times the same lithium, nickel, cobalt atom can be recycled. Other battery recyclers like Lithion Recycling and Retrieve Technologies are also ramping up, as three and a half million electric cars are expected to hit Canadian roads by the end of the decade. The waste is already emerging. There's no plan and there's no supply chain to hoover it up. While Canada hasn't pledged federal funding for recycling EV batteries, the U.S. has, spending hundreds of millions of dollars. Experts say Ottawa needs to catch up. Where policy needs to move forward is all of the money out there for electric car incentives or electric bus purchases actually need to be tied to buses and cars that have a recycling plan attached to them. There wasn't much talk of recycling when Paul Rappaport bought his Tesla back in 2014. It's very important to know that these batteries are not going to end up in a landfill. He says better recycling options will drive more consumers to EVs. People will feel a lot better if they know their batteries are going to be recycled or repurposed. For these battery recyclers, there's still a long road ahead, but it's a path that shows promise, turning old EV batteries from trash into treasure. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Kingston, Ontario.